Previously on Jason Leaves TV, Joe was strangled by a masked maniac, Luke was poisoned by the masked maniac, Gav was thrown over the balcony by the masked maniac, and Scully was suspected of somehow being involved. Each band member also received a note threatening an act of further violence at one of their three upcoming shows. Stay tuned to see what happens. For their first show at the Cubby House, the show in which the masked maniac had targeted Joe, Joe had been able to organise himself a police guard for the evening. There he is now, checking in with the boys in blue as they arrive to protect and serve. Now, with that heavy load off his shoulders, Joe was free to have a good time and drink. And drink he did. Uh, hey, yeah, well, obviously we got no problem tonight because I was spoken to the Victorian police and I said, hey, come look after Jason Lynch tonight. And they were like, hey, yeah, let's look after Jason Lewis tonight. So we're sweet as it goes. And the police kept guard over Joe all evening, only leaving to do the occasional perimeter check. Say, Gav, how does it feel to play the Cubby House? First time at the Cubby House. Pretty cool venue. Um, some other cool bands to, uh, to watch. Much to the delight of the Groove and Jason Lives fans, the show went off without a hitch. Thanks to the efforts of the Victorian police, the masked maniac did not show his face and Joe continued to drink. Jason Lewis put on a typical high energy show and without the interference of the masked maniac a gay and pleasant time was had by all but one had to wonder what would happen tomorrow night at Idiot Fest where Luke had been threatened. Let's find out. Yeah the shot at the cubby house last night went really well. Joe was able to get a police guard throughout the evening so uh, the masked maniac didn't show his face. Uh, tonight we tried to get a police guard again but the cops were just like it's only Luke who cares. So uh, yeah I'm a little concerned about how things will go tonight at uh, Idiot Fest. Say, Gav, what are your thoughts about playing Idiot Fest in a couple of hours, and are you worried? It should be good. Uh, heaps of punk bands, heaps of good punk bands. Uh, a little bit worried about Joe. Uh, he got a bit trash last night, so he's a bit seedy today. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll see how we go. I got so drunk at the Cubby House. And I feel absolutely crap. Soon it was showtime, and aside from Luke's bass strap coming off, Joe being hung over and the band playing out of tune, things went well. All members came out alive. As the masked maniac had failed to appear at the first Cubby House show thanks to the police guard, and was mysteriously absent from Idiot Fest, when the band returned to the Cubby House a week later, they were on the lookout for any dodgy looking people. Here we are once again at the Cubby House, exactly one week after we were last here. This time we're playing the Halloween Spectacular. The threat was made by the masked maniac against Gav. Tonight there's people in costumes and masks, so it's pretty intense and scary in there. I know I'm a target, but uh, the guy hasn't shown up. Maybe he's given up. Who knows? As this video has been taken before we play the second Cubby House show, I'm not going to get as drunk as I did at the first Cubby House show so I can look after Gav, because that masked maniac still might be around. That evening, Jason Lewis played without incident. Gav was untouched and it would seem that the masked maniac had not appeared. Perhaps he'd just given up. However, days later, while reviewing the footage they'd shot, it was revealed that the masked maniac, wearing a Halloween wig, had indeed made an attempt on Gav, but had been unsuccessful. The band then went back and reviewed footage shot on the day of Idiot Fest. Amongst this footage was some Luke shot himself while talking at the camera. The masked maniac can be seen in the background tampering with Luke's vehicle before becoming stuck. This next footage shows perhaps why the masked maniac was unable to make it on the evening. Alrighty, well, uh, time to leave Idiot Fest. Uh, hopefully. Oh, Joe, hit something there. Oh. I think I'm backing over the dog's sticks or balls or something. I'd better put the camera down, I guess. and concentrate on driving. The terror was not over, as a couple of days later after making these horrific discoveries, while driving to the local theatre to see a motion picture, Luke received a text message from the masked maniac. We all know the last show for Jason Lewis for 2013 is at the Brunswick Hotel on Tuesday the 10th of December. The masked maniac stated it will be their last show ever. A couple of hours later, Scully was found to be in possession of a mobile phone. What would an adorable golden retriever have a mobile phone for? Rocky then informed Luke that he'd earlier seen Scully stashing something else underneath her bed. Upon investigation, they found that indeed, Scully had stashed the mask worn by Norman Bates in the movie Psycho, the same mask worn by the masked maniac. 
Come along to the Brunswick Hotel on Tuesday the 10th of December as Jason Leaves support Triumph over Logic. This may very well be their last show ever unless you are there to protect them. Come along! I don't understand, it doesn't make sense. I don't understand.